Yeah, shout out, y'all know what time it is. Slit ski coming back at you one more again. Finna spit some of that pippin' up in the ear. If you even ride here, don't you come down here. Talk now that noise. Shout out, you don't need no ride here. Oh man, that was hot. It's very good. It's tight. It's tight. Got to be tight. Million dollars. Good job. I love the layup. No, she's got to be there at seven o'clock. Okay. You know how she is. Oh, yeah. Her dress is beautiful. But you know what? I see Cedric. I gotta go. Hey, hey. Why the rush? Oh, girl. It's about time you showed up. I thought I was gonna have to find me a new publicist. Oh well, you might find a new one, but you're not gonna find a better one. Oh, you that good? Mm -hmm, the girl, best. You lucky we go way back. What's this? <laughs> Oh, that's the information on the Mentor Foundation and the Players Ball. What Mentors Foundation and Players Ball? Don't play. OK, you're the honoree. You better know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that Mentors Foundation you, you and Players Ball. Just make sure you're there. Oh, OK, no. your tickets, directions, itinerary, all that in the envelope. <laughs> no doubt. Okay, but on the real note, thank you. Thank you for helping me launch this program, man. It really means a lot to me. Oh, man, come on. It's all good, you know? OK. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. But look, I, I got to bounce. Oh, OK. No, oh, my phone's ringing. I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah, this is summer. Hey. And it's 7 because 7.30 is too. Hey. No, I said 7 o'clock because she's not going to be. Huh? No, I'm listening. Right. How you doing? OK, yeah, I said 7. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to try to get there early. It's a mess. She quit. Summer, I left that all-star information on your desk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah, it's, I gotta get somebody else. They worked me out like it was really practice or something. Hey, baby. Hey. Mm, girl, you get better and better looking every time I see you every day. Oh, yeah, well, this is so true. Mm. Mm. Come on now, don't be bad. Mm. I have to finish putting on my face. No, well, it's just a thought, but if you stop taking that motherfucker off, we wouldn't have to go through all that. You know what I mean, funny man. I have a really big audition for Mac today, and it's very important for me, so I need to look my best. I don't know why you think putting all that makeup on is gonna make you look your best. And in case you was thinking, my shoot went well. Well, good. Maybe next time you can get me a part. It was a basketball shoot, baby. Oh, my bad. See, because the way you were stinking, I thought it was for a cologne ad. Man, you want some of this funk? You want some funk? <laughs> I don't know about that stinky boy. You kind of right. Come here. I was trying to get Hype Williams to do it, man. He said he only do Nike stuff. 
Yo, what about that uh, Jay Carroll run, dude? Uh, Chris Robinson. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Commercial they said he was busy too, man. Mm -hmm. We just had to look at the footage and see what works, you know. For 25 million, fuck the footage. Run your ass straight to the bank. <laughs> Gotta drink to that. <laughs> nigga, you drink to anything. Shut, Shut up, up nigga. Look, a toast to my man said. Uh huh. From rags to riches, right. from shame to fame. Uh -huh. Well, my man came. Mm -hmm. He saw. That's all right. He kicked ass. That's, come on. Holla at your boy. Take that. Holla. Take that. Take that. Take Holla. That. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mm. 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 All right, to Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael who? Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Hey, but now that you got the big dollars in the pocket, yo, uh, you gonna take care of this meal, right? Drop your wallet on You're the table, out, partner. Right? Oh, come on. Drop Contract. I got this, I got this. Got it? Let's get another bottle of Chris Style, man. Another bottle Good. of Chris Good. Style? Napkins. Good. Yeah, That's my yeah. man. We definitely need another. Got it, done that. I'll be man. right back. Right there. Now, where you going? See if she got a friend. Oh, Ricky. Oh, Rick Fox, one of these I know. But check this out, y'all. Let's go to the strip joint tonight and just, you know, get some honeys. Strip joint. Let's go strip kick joint. It. My man, yeah, you see this? That means I'm married. You gotta learn. I'm out of here. I'm still a pimp, though, nigga. Well, we got to do How what we got to do. <clears throat> Let's see who get the most ladies into the players' ball. Let's see that. <laughs> you going to the players' ball? Hell yeah! Me and Mojo LaFoy in here? We're gonna be in that motherfucker like the motherfucking dynamic dude! What's going on with this, uh, ball? A party Ricardo Perez is throwing. Some kind of mentor charity event. Ain't nothing really. Why you keep on saying it ain't nothing? It's a players' ball. It's the biggest ball that all the players gonna be at, just like myself. It's gonna be money, honey, and Playboy bunnies up in there. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, but... Which one are you? I'm gonna be the bunny that hop over this damn counter and whoop your old ass. That's what Listen funny. here, man. I think the players' ball is intended to be an event like that, man. It's a meaningful event. I mean, kind of like giving back to those in need. Helping us find our roots. What the hell he talking about roots? You think that, what is this, Alex Haley? This ain't no about no roots. This about fucking. It's this about King. to be a pussy party. You don't get it, man. I know that Ricardo like Perez, that, Rick, 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 Love Lucy, I know him. The boy ain't shit. You hear me? I used to babysit his mama. You hear me? Back in the day. Yeah. Here we go. Son, let me tell you something. Did I ever tell you when your mama was alive, your mama did this thing with her tongue. Look at her, her tongue out, boy. That tongue go out. You hear me? Your mama gave me the pop. Damn! Come on, man. You ain't the fool, man. Well, I told y'all don't fuck with me. I told you. Is it almost time for your anniversary? Ooh. You know what? I hadn't thought about that. It is. Oh, what you gonna get her? I hadn't thought about that either. Gotta work on that. L L. What's up? Mm, what's up, big fella? Kennedy, how you doing? Thanks, baby. You still here, man? Mm-hmm. I'm about to get home to the wife right now. Yo, I'm thinking about popping a big question to jail. Oh, so you in love now, huh? Yeah, you see what she look like, boy? <laughs> First of all, you need to learn the meaning of love. Then you can worry about getting married. I'm gonna ask her to play this ball. Hmm? <laughs> right? Do what you gotta do. But just remember, models, like, they follow the money. They're down a dozen. If you can't imagine yourself without her, then she's the one. But if she's not, hell, you need to find out who is. That's all I gotta say. You need to do what you gotta do and all that. Why well, you guys beat me in the head, man? <laughs> all right, my man. Love you, dog. Love you too, man. See you later, play. All right. You know, it's hard in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. He'll learn. All right, man. Okay. Catch all right. you later. All right.
Now I'm sure by now you done heard about the up and coming players for my sizzle for shizzle. And you know what? It's invite only. So no invite, no inside. But check it out. We gonna do it like this. I got to know about the official after party. It'll be mad off the hook. Everybody's coming. Everybody's going down. It's all gravy. Doors open at midnight. So you know what? If you can't hang with the big dog, just stay the hell out of the cage. <laughs> I'm bust you up. Every day. Mr. Tinsley! Mr. Tinsley? Cedric Tinsley? Yeah. I am a big fan. And you've just been served. Crazy smoke. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> What's up, baby? Hey, baby. You see that dude, baby? <laughs> I did. <laughs> that dude's funny. How What's you up? Doing? Mm -hmm. What's up, baby? Look good. Thank you. Oh, man. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, have a contract ready, man. All right, we're playing with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're joking, right? Tanya Jenkins. Who the fuck is Tanya Jenkins? I never even heard of this bitch, though. This shit is a setup. I'm serious. Don't even worry about it. Give me a break. Baby, I told you I would not cheat on you again. I have not. I promise. I have not cheated I on you. I swear to God, Cedric. You do this shit to me again, Jill. I will leave you. Use my fame to try to reap the benefits of my name. You ain't gonna believe this shit. Look at this shit. These motherfuckers sent me this bullshit. Look at that shit there. Is that some crazy shit? That shit is crazy. Calm down, let me see. Yeah, this is real serious. As you damn right, that shit is very serious. That's what I'm talking about. What's your relationship with this woman? I don't know that bitch. I've never seen that bitch. Well, look, say when this is the press. Look, hey, hey, hey. It's your job to make sure that shit don't never get to the press. Oh, come on. You know I can't take care of everything that's happening on the street like that. You know, you gotta handle these girls. Look, anyway, don't 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 even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna go to court. DNA gonna prove I ain't never met no motherfucker Tanya Jenkins. You understand what I'm saying? Well, good. Because your shoe contract, it has a morals clause. Okay, you got something dirty in your well, we gotta clean it out. You ain't got to worry about my well, all right? Because my well, I mean, shit is sparkling. All right. I just hope you haven't gotten yourself in too much trouble because I can't always be there to help you out. You smell that? That's a rat. Rat chasing cheese. Oh, Chase, chasing up the cheese, that's all. We ain't, I don't even know why I'm sweating it. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, you, you, you wanna go get something to eat or something? Oh, no, I can't, cause uh, Ricardo's coming to pick me up. <laughs> Ricardo, that's what? right, right, right. No, I forgot. Yeah. You, you a little jealous? Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. You see this right here? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's a nice picture. Yeah, but you know, light-skinned niggas is back. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, all right, just go make sure you don't know that woman. I don't know her. All right. All right. Yeah, can you get Jim back on the phone? Hey, you finished working out? I just got finished. I need to take a shower, too. Can you keep an eye on him for me? Yeah. Hey. Ah! Come on, man. You let him see the ball. Don't let him run scared. around. Let me see, let me see you dribble. You got skills? I'm gonna stay bam! Ah, that boy ain't never gonna run out of energy, huh? I always feel like I have to keep my eye on him. I tell you, sometimes I just don't know which way he's running. I hear that. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Yeah, come on, come on. I hope you can keep up with him. You know he's fast.
knocked out, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's been a long day. I was thinking, you know, if you want me to watch all this for you while you, you know, do your thing with your new client. I can't ask you to do that. You see this little fellow here? He means the world to me. I'm just gonna have to reschedule. Hey, I don't mind. Now, I'm supposed to meet him at Foster's Park at 8. And I tell you, I really don't like taking him there. You know, the traffic and all that. Hey, no close. problem. No problem. I'll be there at 8. You know, you're not such a bad brother after all. You know no. that? Just rich and famous, that's all. <laughs> well, get your rich and famous ass over there and open up that door for me. Book your sister. Check this out. We gonna come up on a millionaire at the player's ball, okay? That's all I know. Girl, I can't wait. <laughs> Good morning, Natasha. Hey. Look, um, LaQuinta, I'm gonna have to holler at you later. My boss just walked in. Yeah, she is my cousin, but she's still my boss. You just find you something to wear. All right, girl. Bye. <laughs> you remember what we talked about? We talk about a lot of stuff. Look, Tosh, I know I promised Uncle John I was going to give you this job, but if you can't act in a more professional manner than this, then, then I don't... Then, then what? You, you going to fire me? You need to try harder. Yeah, family or not, this is my business, and you need to pull yourself together, or I will let you go. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Uncle John would roll over in his grave if he heard you saying that. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm just making it clear. And by the way, that little outfit of yours is not appropriate for the office. So I'm gonna see it again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yes, whatever. Oh, um, by the way, your little boyfriend, Ricardo, mm-hmm, he's been here waiting on you. What? Mm-hmm, you know, you wasn't here, so, you know, I took care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, mommy. Come on, stop. Que pasa? Been up in here waiting for you, girl. You baby, you know I don't get here till 10 o'clock. What are you doing? I was kind of lonely. I know you like surprises, so surprise, knuckle. No, 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 this is not the place for this. Man, every place is the place for Ricardo Perez to get his groove on. Holla. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Yo, you got that guest list for the players ball? Just about. All right, I got a few more names I got to put on the list. Uh. I got my nigga um, Biggs coming from Miami with the dogs. Then I got KD, uh, uh, yeah, 87. And, oh, Romo's coming with the soldiers from War Entertainment. Don't forget my boys, because they're gangster, and they will check you, all right? OK, OK. But you know, you're going to have to give me some real names, because uh, so far I haven't heard one yet. Man, half them niggas got warrants. They ain't giving their real name at the door. We gonna sneak them through the back, and we gonna get up in there. Let me handle the damn thizzle, all right? Baby girl, them lips, move them hips, take your clothes off. Check it out, I'm saying, what about your man? Take them clothes off. Baby girl, them thighs, what's your size? Take them clothes off. I'm gonna put you in the book, you need her up, and take them clothes off. Um, hmm. excuse me, you know, I don't mean to interrupt, but I thought it would be professional to let you know that I was going to go to the ladies' room, you know, in case the phone rang. Oh, yeah, we can handle it. Here, shawty. Okay, Tasha, thank you. She on the guest list, right? Hey, hey, she asked me earlier if she could go. I said, all right. <laughs> All right? Come on, stop acting stink. Thank you. Come on, get come back on, here. Come, come here, on. baby. I, I have come a in. lot of work to do. Yeah. Okay? I got some yeah. work to do, too. Look, I got, um, mm, um, I got like a dozen calls to make, you know? That's and I got like two clients coming in later, so I can't. Yeah, your mind is telling me no. Your body is telling me, watch out. Man. Come on, baby, I gotta get some work done, really. Come on, not why. Okay. Why don't you go lock the door? I need to go lock the door. Hold it. I'ma put you in the book and need her up and take them clothes off. Baby girl, them lips, ooh, them hips, take your clothes off. In other news today, NBA superstar Sergio Chinzi will not be on the court, but rather in court today. A woman named Tanya Jenkins has apparently come forward with a paternity suit against Tinsley, claiming he fathered her five-month-old son. Yeah, say, say, you don't even know old girl. Y'all men be slapping it, slipping it, rubbing it down, and when old girl come up pregnant, y'all be talking about one me. These women parade five different men up on the show and 
Hey, baby. Morning. Sure wish you would come with me to court this morning. I could use the support. Baby, you know I had a shoot today. Reschedule it. It ain't gonna happen. Why? I said I'm not gonna go to court with you and be humiliated by your baby mama drama. I told you that girl's lying. I'm not that baby's father. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. And when you're wrong, I expect an apology. Yeah, let's keep hope alive. What's that supposed to be, funny? Baby, I'm not laughing. Do I at least look okay? Sure, you look fine. You ain't even look at me. Baby, I said you look fine. Listen, man, I've been thinking. Think about us getting married. Yeah? Yeah. Let's get married. So I guess that means the prenup papers are ready? No, I mean, it's just ironic. I mean, baby, you want me to trust you? But you don't even trust me. No prenup. Let's just be happy. You think about it. I gotta go to court. Excuse me. Excuse us. My client has nothing to say. My client has nothing to say. No comment. Excuse us, please. Excuse us. Excuse us, please. We're trying to get to client. My client has nothing to say. Excuse me. Come on. This just in, Cedric Tinsley is here today to contest a paternity suit brought by Tanya Jenkins. More for you as the story unfolds. Man, that's I'm coming to you crap. live from the L.A. Superior Court. This is Kimberly Ogletree for Channel 2 News. I don't care what they say about my dog. I still know C.T. the real deal, baby. I don't care. C.T. cool, but back in the day, I would have smoked his ass. That's right. All your best days are behind you. Yeah. I just can't help it because all the ladies around here still think I'm the man. I just can't help it. What ladies, Bob? What are you ladies? Oh, what? Yeah, man. Okay. What are you ladies you always talking you about? Just, 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 just ship it up. Ship it up. Ship it up. Call them off. Yes. <clears throat> Damn. Drama. I know, right? Thanks for making it easy. Have I ever let you down? I'll be right there. You know, there was that time in the sixth grade when you were supposed to be fixing my cut and you messed around and tried to kiss me. I did not try to kiss you. Yes, you did. Uh, I didn't even kiss boys then. You was probably trying to kiss all on me. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, um, you looking for Jill? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Why worry about it? You know that baby's not yours. Don't sweat it. That's not what I'm worried about. Do I look okay, Lisa? Um, no. No? Mm -mm. Let me see. Now you do. What would I do without you? Uh, I don't know. Come on, let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Relax and we'll be out of here fast. All rise. The judicial Circuit of the Superior Court is now in session. Honorable Howard J. Miles preside.
How's the team look this year, Mr. Tinsley? Uh, very good, Your Honor. Thanks. All right, sir. All right. Now, lawyers remain seated. We can be informal. I don't think we're going to be here this long. Now, let's see. It would appear that the respondent has filed a motion for summary judgment supported by a sworn affidavit wherein he denies any knowledge, involvement, or even acquaintance with the petitioner. Both sides have stipulated in advance to an expedited DNA test that was performed recently. I have the results of your DNA test. And quite frankly, I don't know whether to lock you up or congratulate you because you are indeed the father, whether you like it or not. But, Your Honor, I... Mr. Tansley, let me say that the court is less than impressed with your candor on your sworn affidavit, and I have half a mind to lock you up right now for contempt of court. On the other hand, out of consideration for your future relationship with your son, perhaps we'll let you become a father without first going to jail. Your Honor, I never Counselor, met... would you talk to your client and admonish him to restrain himself? The court will rule next week on the matter of temporary support to be paid to the petitioner by the respondent. Next case. Tinsley, can you tell the American people why you lied? Do you think you'll lose your endorsement contracts now that you've been Rural proven a lie? You tried to cover up your baby for fear of criminal charges being brought against you. How do you respond to that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, my client hasn't committed a crime. Well, date rape is a crime. Excuse what? Please, excuse no, us. Excuse, excuse us. We have to go. Give us something. Give us something. Give us something. This is bullshit, man. Look, I'm a lot of things. I ain't no damn rapist. We think you should just settle this out of court. They will consider that option if the price is right. Why the hell would I do that? I told you, I never touched that girl. Look, Cedric, if Miss Jenkins goes public with her date rape story, you could lose everything. Your contracts, your endorsements, and you'd likely face criminal charges. And with the DNA test already in her favor, you wouldn't stand a chance, even with us. Just think about paying the girl a couple million dollars, and let's end this, OK? Jump, jump. Drill it, I drill it, I drill it, I drill it, and you don't follow it. You don't read your playbook. You're playing lethargic. You don't want to be a basketball team. What's up, Sid? You're playing that punk role, man. You need to try to claim your shorties, man. You know what the fuck you talking about? This shit ain't got nothing to do with you, man. Mind your business, man. Okay, it's all over CNN. Man, Hell, you got ten kids by ten different bitches. That's it. Oh, 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 I'm hailing my shorties. So what? You need to cover up your dick. Hey, you call me, man. Fuck you, Sid. Get out. Hey, Up your seats, girl. Be quiet. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I'm loving this car, right? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Let's go. go. Oh, shit. you got the old school flavor up in this piece. Eddie James, Aretha, Denise Wood. Oh, Marvin Gaye. What you know about all that? Oh, <laughs> Those are my hatches. Hatches? 
yeah, everybody's got one, escape hatch, you know? Something they turn to when they want to get away from all their problems. You know, some people it's TV or movies or video games. For me, it's my music. I feel you. Man, I got me some Patty or Aretha. I'm telling you, ain't no more problems, okay? It's lovely. That's what I need, some escape hatches. I'm sure you got one, just don't know it. Shit I'm going through right now, escape hatches wouldn't help. What you gonna do about your son? Hey, my son. But you told me you didn't even know her. I don't. Look, I, I'm not trying to start anything, okay? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out. All right, all right. Now, come on, Cedric. Now, if you can't talk to me, you can't talk to anybody. It's me. And I know you mess around on jail, okay? So don't be running your game on me. Wow. I never thought I'd see the day when my boy Cedric would just freeze up on me. I guess that's what fame and fortune does to you. All right, so I might not be faithful all the time. But if I do fuck around, I use the rubber. And I definitely ain't fuck no Tanya bitch. I know who I put my shit in. Oh, do you? What, you mad because I ain't put it in you? What? What? No, you didn't say some dumb shit like that to me. You know what? You just, just get the fuck out of my car. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of my car, Cedric. Oh, some I'm playing, man. Just go. Just go. Just get out. I'm sorry, all right? You know, if it was your dick I wanted, I would have had that a long time ago. not in the mood, okay? So why don't you just go on and go, and I'm gonna get with you tomorrow. Go? Where am I gonna go? I just got here. Why is you acting like that, yo? Acting like you ain't glad to see a nigga. No, okay, I'm sorry. All right, I'm just... I'm just going through a lot of stuff right now. Must be a lot of stuff. Baby, check it out. What? One thing with Cardo, know that he know how to treat a female. That's why you keep coming back. I'm from with that stink attitude. I'm your stress reliever. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You know what's talking about? Bang, bang, bang. Come here, girl. Is that all you want? Mm. Well, I want it for you, too. Oh, yeah. I ain't stingy. Mm, okay. Share and share a lot. <laughs> get you over here. Get this party started, man. Parents, your color. I'm sorry, love, but I pity for you so. Yeah. It's been a long time, and you try and hit your goal. I'm gonna make it out there. Nobody will seem to care. I'm gonna make it out there. That kid, man, he's ready for it. He's coming in, ready for it. Oh, no. Wait, he ain't playing, he playing against high school kids. What are you gonna do against Shaq? Oh, man, what are you gonna that, do against what'd Shaq? What'd you do against Shaq? Uh, 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 Whoopity whoopity. That's Scooby Doo. I'm a guard, man. Hip hop, whatever. Six, he's six, Nothing. Eight. Well, that's what I'm saying. He go, he go hold his own. He's nice. The boy is nice. Come on, man. Kennedy, hook a brother up, man. Come on. And I was thinking if you want me to watch August for you tomorrow while you do your thing with your new client. I can't ask you to do that. Don't you think you've had enough? 
It's never too much, baby. It's <laughs> always enough, sweetheart. For the record, I like dead presidents, not dead customers. We like dead presidents too. That's why we like to keep them in our pockets. <laughs> Me, you, and Jan go way back. And as long as I have known you, I have never stepped up to you like this. But what's going on with you is not in that glass. Understand? I can understand it. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Oh, man. What's wrong with you? Ooh, 9 o'clock. Time for Nick to go to bed. Go. I gotta make yeah, a call. Your girl, gotta make a call. Gotta call, man. Yeah. How about five? What you think? Hey, could you yeah, hang I, up I that phone, ready, please, buddy. so we can finish this stretch? <laughs> All right, man. That's the monster right now. I got to go. One. Okay, hey, lay your legs down. Come on, touch your feet. Touch them. Stretch out. August! August! August, get back here right now! I am so sorry. Man, I should have rescheduled. Nah, it's no thing. It's cool. Oh! OK. What's going on, Shorty? How you doing? What's up, girl? Hey. Shit. Hey. How you doing, man? But you, you can't. No, 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 that's no. That's right, baby. That's right. No, right. My, bad, your my bad player. My bad player. Girl, shh. Let me no. tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I wasn't with you, I wasn't married. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, I'd be with Jill. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't funny. That shit ain't funny. You know, my no. Come on, man. You pass by, babe, you're so fly Said I need to make a move, got nothing to lose yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm fantasizing oh, yeah. And what you're doing to me is unexplainable Cause I'm thinking about you What am I gonna do with you, huh? not picking up August. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I looked at my watch, and by the time Cedric I figured it out, gone. it was too late. It was, I'm real Cedric, my baby's gone. Huh? He's gone, Cedric. He's gone.
Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. Maybe all this has went on to a better place now. I conclude our services for today. Going. I ain't in the mood for no player's ball. My nephew just got killed by a drunk driver. I was supposed to be there. How you think that makes me feel? Baby, it wasn't your fault. And you have to be there. You are the guest of honor. Everybody who's anybody is gonna be there for you. Well, I guess I'm just nobody then. You're somebody to me, boo. To hell with Marlon. You know, you need to be acting. I'm serious. You serious? I don't even think I want to play ball no more, all right? Shit don't even feel right. I think about quitting. Yeah, right. Like, you could give all this up. What, all this material shit? This shit don't mean nothing to me. No, I mean all of this. Cedric! Son, I, I thought that you might want to meet him. Bitch, I don't know you, bitch. Get out. You better get out of here with that baby. His name is Joshua, and I thought that you would like that name because that's your daddy's name, wasn't it? How do you know my dad's name? Because I'm your son's mother, like it or not. I ain't got time to be playing around with you, with your, your scams and shit. Come on, now. What the hell are you doing here? No, I got this. I, I brought Joshua to meet his father. No, you need to get the hell out of here. No, it's OK, baby. I got this, all right? What? I'm gonna handle this, all right? Look, bitch, I don't know you, all right? And I don't know what kind of scam you work in here, what you got going on, but I'm getting ready to get married. Now, get, get the fuck out of here. Look, I told my lawyer to take a settlement for 4.5, so... I didn't make no settlement offer. Yeah, but you will. Look, you think I don't know about fucking fuckers like you with your fucking fancy-ass cars and your stupid goody-two-shoe attitude? But you just, just shut the fuck up, all right? Look, why don't you hold him, huh? Why don't you hold your fucking son? Huh? He looks just like you. Here. Here! <laughs> fucking crazy bitch.
no invites. Don't need no damn invites. I don't get no me. I'm the king of the hard mood up in here. That was like 30 years ago. What you talking about? What you talking about? 30 years? What? People don't forget shit like that. You see that little chubby dude, that little security guard up there? I went to school with that nigga. I helped him get his first piece of pussy. Pa, pa. He owed me one. We getting it next. Hey, why can't I ever just go to a place without you covering up? Don't you want to, like, I don't know, soak in some big gay and do something? Well, you better shut you in a minute. I turn and slap. What? Fuck you. Boy, it only took me a minute to squirt your little young ass out. It took me half the time to pull you back in. You better, you better, you better bring your boy. Well, I'm going to show you how real players get their play on up in here. <laughs> we going up in the party. Come on, just don't Can we just walk up here? Can we just walk up there? It's only a block away. Come on. Hell no. We can't just walk up there. You think I'm going to fuck up these brand new ponies? $22. I ain't going to want you scuffing your fuck up y'all night. You hear me? Shit, I ain't fucking up no damn. You better bring your ass up over here. Gas ain't free. I got number two dollars worth of gas left in here. Boy, you... You also don't like getting tips. That's what you probably Sir, do you have limitations? Boy, do your job and park this next to a baby. You heard that? <laughs> Is that y'all who? Ooh, girl, I don't know, but I know Kobe Bryant better be here. Okay. Well, who's he? Who oh, is he? Oh my God, he is only the finest dude in the NBA. You need to check up on your millionaire superstar sportsman. Okay. Uh, it ain't a boat, nigga. I'm in this bitch. I feel like I am in ghetto fast like You know what? I need to find Ricardo so he can hook us up with some of his friends. Why would he do that? I ain't Got him by the ball. You go, girl. Tonight's goal, find me a fresh pair of balls to latch on to just like you did. Let's do some of this shit. People up in this line. Boy, we about to get crunk up in here. I see. Ain't nobody, man. We getting in. We gonna get in. It ain't nobody up there. I see all these little women and everything. I say, hey, what's up, girl? I like your hair and everything. Oh, look. Look, oh, CT. That's CT. What's up, boy? Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, you gonna act like you don't know no? Well, oh. well, go ahead then. Go ahead and keep your little walk with your little Jerry Curl and your little fake J Lo. Well, go ahead. Oh, I bet you don't play basketball for real. You just faking it. See, you know what? That's what I'm talking about. You gotta have a jury curl to get in. Him and the security guard. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. What's up, Seth? You all right, boy? Good. How you? How you doing, beautiful lady? Hey, Lloyd. You all right? I'm doing good. Yo, man, how your kids going, man? Your lawyer making any kind of progress? Mm, yeah, they don't lie. I'm gonna lie this time, all right? No, I'm straight. That's good. Now check this out. I got a whole bunch of people out here waiting on me, so I'm gonna go check them out and I'm gonna talk to you later, all right? All right, all right boy. Mm. Hi, Lori. Oh, hey, I see my girl. I'll be right back. All right. Hey, you got a Coke? A Coke? A Coke? What, you five or six? A Coke, man. Coke, you want? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola? Let me find you another way. What's up, Flash? You always did have trouble with the quick ones, you know? Oh, yeah, you quick. You quick, man, man. Uh, don't make me have to do it to you, though. Well, your girl looks kind of nice tonight, man. I gotta hey, give it to you. Look, 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 boy. Jill look good as hell, don't she? Mm -hmm. Tell me. I know you feel me on that. I ain't talking about her. I'm talking about her. You understand, see? Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, my girl. Thank you for coming. As you all know, my name is Ricardo Perez. Well, at least y'all better know, since y'all in my goddamn house. And this here is my lovely lady right here, Summer Twitty. Looking good, ain't she? You know that. 
Well, y'all all know this party here is all about the launching of my mentor foundation. This cause is very important to me because if it wasn't for Walter Baxter, I'd probably just be another thug on the streets hustling and gangbanging. So tonight, as of right now, I want all of y'all to reach back and let a brother like me stand up, give people like me a chance to stand up and show everybody the benefits of a true mentor. So, you know, that's my little story and everything. We got a camcorder in one of the back rooms where we gonna let my true players step forward and pledge to my foundation and tell their story as well. And um, this is a party, ain't it? Yeah. So we gonna party in this B.I. Okay, is this thing on? Uh, go ahead whenever you're ready. All right. Hey, Ricardo, man. Look, I'm more than happy giving five thousand dollars towards your foundation. You know, I, I pretty much grew up straight with both parents, but yeah, I gotta say they were my mentors. You know, they they stayed on my ass about you know getting my education and. and Make sure I head on my business. But we're here for a, a really important thing. A man said he's about to pop the question to his girl Jill. And... Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, Natasha. Oh, hi, girl. What are you doing here? Um, I was invited. Oh, that's interesting because I didn't put your name on the list. So how did you get in? That is really insulting. Okay, you ain't the only one with connections. And who is she? Oh, this is my homegirl, LaQuinta. This is my cousin, Summer. You know, the one that I was telling you about. Oh, yeah, the one that's always sweating, Ricardo. I remember. Mm -hmm. Look, Natasha, since you're here, you can stay. But next week, we're going to have a long talk about your future in the office, OK? <laughs> you ain't all that, sweetie. <laughs> You're in my man's house, uninvited, and you're insulting me. <clears throat> well, at least my man knows his place. He don't be spreading the love all around, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Please, Ricardo wouldn't touch another woman with a 10-foot pole. Mm. But would he touch another woman with his 10-foot dick? Excuse me, Mr. Harrison. Uh... May I ask you a favor? Ah, Mookie's here, baby. Ah, what's up, baby? Yeah. Oh, he's going oh, out. Oh, no. Look at you, dog. I see you. I see you. Yo, this is my friend, Ken. Ken is Ricardo. This is the man of the hour. <laughs> so, uh, these monitors, they cover every room in the house? Everything. Man, they record, too? Everything. Sound, picture. I got to tell you, that brother, Ricardo, he's one freaky brother. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Check this out. Puff, puff, pass, nigga. Puff, puff, pass. Hey, we need to be ready to set up for... <laughs> what? Uh, what? Powder, what are you doing? Powder. I ain't show Mind I my business. You know, I'm not even gonna deal with this right now, okay? We got a house full of people downstairs trying to get ready for my charity. What you need, baby? A little drinky drink? Anything? Kinda, you know? You coming up in here all swole up. Like you about to kick some ass and shit. Hold up, baby. You are so full of shit! No, no, listen, listen. Yo, homies, raise up for a minute, man. Let me talk to my lady, no yo. Problem, dog, all this? Listen, man. Raise up right now. It ain't going nowhere. Y'all acting like goddamn things, yo. Supposed to be a party, fam. Come on, man. What up, nigga? See that? Got the homies all mad and everything. This just the hype of the party, baby. You know what I mean? My homies have bought up a little gear high, man. I did a little something, something. Look, I ain't gonna fuck with it no more, all right? All right, I got a little flaw. No, it's more than a flaw. No, no, now, see, when you recognize it and you can say that you're really on that path there, that's the route that you take to fix it, right? Right? Look, it's just, I don't think don't that you and I are going to be think. able to. 
Just feel. Feel. Just feel me on this, no, baby, all right? No, stop. Come stop on. now. See, there you go again. See, your mind is saying no, but your body is saying yeah. I'm going downstairs. Okay, I'm not playing this game with you tonight. Come on, baby, don't leave me hanging like that. That nigga harder than a day old bagel up there. Hey, Ricardo, what's up, man? This party is so live, man. I got to tell you, I am so happy to be here. I'm going to donate $10,000 to your mentoring foundation. You know what? Double that. Make it $20,000. Hey, so how you doing, baby? I have you seen Cedric anywhere? Last time I saw him, he was over by the DJ booth. OK, if you see him, will you tell him I'm looking for him? OK, cool. OK, thanks. All right. Oh, time out. Time out. You OK? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, why do you ask? Well, you just don't seem like yourself. Which might be me. I don't know. It's just that things would be a lot easier if life wasn't so complicated. My mentor was my five brothers. You know what they told me? Reach for the sky, you might get a star. Hey, I got one, baby. Just keep one thing in mind. Everything in this world happens for a reason. You might not be able to spot it right off the bat, but trust me, it's there. It's kind of like your boy said. He needs to find out what real love is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay. Hey, thanks. All right, thanks. <laughs> Yo, in a minute, man. I gotta give my man Ricardo shout outs. Big ups to my man Ricardo with this fabulous affair you got going tonight. Just want you to know I will be nothing without you. Mentors are everything. You were almost my mentor, but you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Here you go. I'm gonna give you a check tonight, like about two, three hundred dollars, because I ain't a big baller like you yet. Man can use a drink. I quit. Oh, more for me. Man, I can't get my nephew out of my mind, you know? You gonna be okay? Yeah. I saw the baby. You did? Yeah, she brought him by my house. How the fuck she know where you live? I don't know, man. I, it, she seemed to know a lot of shit about me. I need to get a private investigator on her ass. Yeah. Maybe I ought to rethink this whole proposal thing tonight. Just do it at another time. I'll tell you the truth, I don't even think I'm ready for all this. Why, because you're nothing? No, Jill. <laughs> oh, damn. Some of you look good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Yeah. I wish I were. What's wrong? Just got a lot of stuff on my mind, that's all. So where's your girlfriend? Oh, excuse me, or is she your fiance yet? <laughs> Good question. You know, she's hard to keep track of. No, she's not my fiance yet. Well, not that I'm hating or anything, but she's kind of got a knack for never being around when you need her, you know? And somehow you got a knack for always being around at those times. How was that? Psychic. Oh, you psychic now? Yeah. Mr. Perez, there's not a nigga in here that don't want to hit summer tonight. You worried about that? <clears throat> Come on, I'm tapping that ass tonight and every night. If a nigga get too close to that, he's gonna smell my nuts on the breath. Why would I be worried? You wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be. Shit. What am I thinking? Uh, you're thinking, uh, let me see. Ooh, wow. You're thinking uh, how much you want to uh, say hello to your girlfriend. What? Hey, Jill. How you doing? Hey, did you know Michael Jordan's around here somewhere? So? So? Uh, J oh, that is a beautiful bracelet, Jill. Thank you. Yeah, did Cedric buy that for you? Of course. Who else? Right. Hey, um, you know what? Excuse me, I'm gonna go to the ladies' room. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Summer, you will be back in time for the big event. Uh, which big event is that? Say, you didn't tell her. 
We're getting engaged tonight. Oh, um, you know, he told me he was thinking about it. He didn't say it was set in stone. Oh, it's set in stone, all right. A very big stone, if you know what I mean. Well, congratulations to the both of you. Excuse me. <clears throat> what I tell you about all that Hollywood shit? Why? She's just jealous. Jealous of what? Who are they? Hold up, soldier. Let them let them live. Hold up. Are the cameras on up in here? Yes, go ahead. Oh, girl, we about to be on television, okay? <gasps> I want to give a shout out to my newfound sugar daddy. Oh, mm -hmm. He knows who he is. <laughs> Baby, we can make our own private video tonight, okay? And get Real, real <laughs> nasty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Carl, I want to be in your next music video because them MTV hoes, they ain't got nothing on me. Mm. Mm. Excuse mm. you, mm. I'm going to be the only Bougetto up in his video. Well, what's Excuse that? Excuse me, you're supposed to be talking about your mentor and donations to Mr. Perez's foundation. What? I thought this party was for free. I don't have no money and I don't have no mentor. Girl, would you chill? Now, I told you, Ricardo got our back. Oh. Okay, trust me on that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing here? Um... I'm, I'm having a good time, same thing you're doing. How did you even get in here? Who is my mentor? Oh, I know. Uh-huh. This guy that I just recently met. Mm -hmm. I got him all horny when I told him I don't wear no panties. You don't need the... Mm -mm, never. None. <laughs> Anyhow, Ooh. we did the do. And afterwards, he taught me a very valuable lesson, okay? Ladies, listen up. Always, always, always be about them ends. Don't be fucking with no broke ass nigga, uh uh. That she is rare, right. man. Let's do something. What's up, Foxy? Mama? Oh, how you doing, girl? What's up, brown sugar? Hey. Hey, won't you let me and my son escort you up in this little party up in here? Because I see you by yourself. Yeah. Why don't you two wanna be players? Jump back into the 70s and get out of my face. Oh, <laughs> see, that's cold. You had to say 70s, you could say 80s or uh, so. You know what? Just because you look like Sheila Easton. Oh, no, you don't. Open the door for her. She disrespectful, man. Hey, why you gotta be all acting funny oh, like that? That's you know what I mean? Give you all that them, compliments. Them compliments and stuff. Just you know what? You, you just keep on like walking like that. Like that. I mean, that's you ain't it? no Revlon model. What you walking like that Shoot. for? Your walk ain't all that. Because when you get one with some ends mm -hmm, and a mm -hmm. girlfriend, right. or preferably a wife, uh -huh. it's ends for life. Tell it like it is, girl. Find one with a wife, wife. means ends for life. Say it with girl. Find one, one with a wife means ends for life. life. Now, it's a dirty game. Mm -hmm. But somebody's mm -hmm, got mm -hmm. to play it. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, <laughs> mentor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Jamal. Hey. Hi. So I, I heard that you and Sed were getting married soon. Let's go, Tanya. Come on, Tanya, I got some people I want you to meet. Well, I can't wait to see that wedding. Let's go. What the hell is she doing? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of the evening. I got my group representing for War Entertainment, coming straight out of Portland. They're going to be the biggest thing since Lil' Cam's new titties. Give it up for my boys. Can't be caught. Yeah! <laughs> Just play. 
See them people over there? You see the little security guard? Mm -hmm. I'm about to go over there and show him who Pops is. That's what I'm about to do. I just want to go home now. Boy, you got to overcome your roadblocks. Stop acting scared. Have I taught you anything this year? Yeah, how not to act. Boy, you better shut up and learn something, boy. Pop, please. You embarrassing me. Look, this was a bad idea. Look, we can just hit the club up tomorrow night instead. Just me and you, man. Ain't no telling you and stay focused. I get you out that cellar gun, northeast poke and loaded. I ain't got time to be talking for hours. Why you smile and slap the game on a bitch with baby powder? To take a chance on winning, gotta be prepared to lose. But I ain't chalking up no losses, only scared to choose. Get that dough, get that dough. What these hoes keep looking for? No time to play, so focus, yo. A valuable lesson is about to be taught here. You know what? You talk so much bullshit and always causing trouble. I'm so tired of it. I don't want to hear it no more. You need to grow up, Pops. No more lies, man. Look at this nigga, man. Dad, yo, dog, what you supposed to be? Read my long lost father or some shit? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? This nigga look like he just popped off an episode of Good Times. <laughs> Shit, hard times is more like it, my nigga. No, 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 no. hold up, man. Squash that, squash that. Oh, snap, man. This is Coach Hakeem. What's up, man? Yeah, no, damn, no, man. Niggas, y'all gotta give him mad respect, nigga. man. Wow. This is the man that invented the triangle. Phil Jackson stole the shit from him. This Bullshit. is him, man. This is him. Ain't know who you are, oh, man. Oh, shit. What's up, oh, man? man? Yo, call me. Yo, I ain't mean to disrespect you man. like that, man. Love is love, man. What's up, Coach? No doubt. Roll this ball, yo. You was a legend, man. Coach, you're a true, true legend in the hood. I swear. Yeah, all right. Niggas, why y'all talking so much shit, man? Damn. You know how we do, man. Woo wee! Oh, man. This party's off the chain. This party's off the chain. Off the chisel. So I'm gonna give you this 10,000 for that foundation? 15 G's. I just gotta show you, man, the greatest was Muhammad Ali to me. Mentor of my life is my mother. Let me get back to this party. I'm gonna holler at you. That's the way players play all day, every day. Yo, what the hell are you doing here, man? Look, man, you gonna do this tonight or what? Because you knock me a lazy we bounce. I'm gonna do it. I mean, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. All right, man. Look, in my opinion, you know what? That don't even make a difference, right? You do what's best for you, all right? Yeah, go. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, all right? Trust all right, me, yeah, trust yeah. me. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm check this out, I'm gonna go get the ring, I'm gonna have a car, I'm gonna grab everybody together, and I'm gonna come right back. All right, all right. All right. yo, what's up? Thanks for holding me down, you know, with the best man been in every day. Stop playing, you know what you're doing. All right, all right. Summer, summer, summer time. It's summer. Okay, and excuse me, I need to speak to Ricardo. Excuse me, I need to speak to Move! No, don't speak! It's not what it look like. Summer! Oh, yo, Papa, how you let her in? What I'm gonna do, tackle your shorty dog? You know what? I want you to get these hookers up out of here. Can you at least handle that? Come on. My pleasure. Damn. Wait, Ricardo, what I thought I just want to say I'm very, very proud of you, and I thank you for what you're doing. A lot of people don't do it, but you took the time and you did. And for that reason, I am giving you 2,000 of my hard-earned dollars. Jill, have you seen Cedric? No. What's wrong with you? It's personal. Summer, when are you going to understand he doesn't want you? I'm really not in the mood for this conversation right now, OK? Fine. We're going to find out in a minute anyway. He's getting ready to make a big announcement. Thank you. Whatever. 
From what I hear, you should be keeping your own man in check. Wait, you're not busy anymore. I don't give a shit about them tricks. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about. You know what? You, you was right. It's the powder. I swear, as of now, I'm not fucking with that shit no more. Oh, it's the powder, huh? Kind of like the devil. I swear to God, listen, son. I love you. I don't do anything to lose you. I don't know what I do. Just gonna make it up to you. No, it's okay. You know, I just, no, really, I just... it's okay. I'm not mad. You ain't mad. No. To be honest, I'm not even surprised. I don't know what to say. Just say goodbye. Okay, it was never meant to be between us, and we both know that. I thought you wasn't mad. I'm not. I just learned a long time ago to just expect the worst. So I won't be so disappointed with whatever happens. Baby, I don't want to do anything to ever disappoint you. I won't let you. See, it's always about you. What about me? Huh? I go out my way to do everything for you. I trick on you, get you whatever you want, try to come to surprise you, give you what a lady want. But what? It's like I'm not even there. You know what I mean? We make... What about when we making love? Yeah, mm-hmm. You think I don't know? You be in a whole different world. Like a nigga don't even exist. How you think I feel? Oh, man. I don't even know, baby. Look, Carter, just stop. Rick. Rick! Oh! What's my body saying now? Lose my number. Oh! Rick, girl! Ah! What's up, Jack? Hey, Mookie. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Ah, oh, man. Something's wrong. What's up? I just met that chick named Tanya. There's no doubt in my mind that she's running some type of game on Cedric. How do you know that? I don't know. She must be running around with too much drinks in her, because, you know, she's going around to my house. She's about to get paid, and then she has him on lock. I don't, I don't understand that. Something's, something's unusual about that. Really? Um, Mookie, will you excuse me a second? Oh, well, thanks. Thank you. My lady. Thank you. Oh. You know what? Yo, man, I'm sorry for cutting you off, man, but I gotta take care of something. Summer, can I talk to you for a second? Yo, shit, yo, shit. Lloyd needs to talk to you for a minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What you gonna do? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cut his ass. That's I'm gonna be do. right there That's with you. Right. Right. Take it, take it. Oh, hey, 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 hi, hi, hi. What's up, pretty ladies? How y'all doing? Yeah, why y'all leaving the party so soon? <laughs> y'all should want to get with a true player like me and my son here. <laughs> Explain like nothing to them. Y'all should want to get with us anyway. We true players. They know me in here. 
<laughs> and to think you told me I need to check up on my sportsmen. <laughs> Come on, Pops, let's roll. Girl, you are so Ooh, fun. I hope you're packing that Viagra now, baby. Yeah, boy, I stick it in uh. I guess it's just me a you, sweet thing. Come on, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Kill the music. No, I should hide K. Capri. Right now, we have a very, very big announcement to make. A very close friend of mine has something important he'd like to say to his lady Jill and to the rest of the world at large. So right now, without further ado, I'm going to turn the microphone over to him. Y'all all know him. Y'all all love him. Mr. Smooth, I ain't never seen him in a suit before, so I'm tripping. Cedric Tinsley, bring your ass for Let me just say that uh, all of y'all know that lately I've been in a lot of trouble in the media and, you know, in my personal life. And if I've let any of you down, please forgive me. Um, in the past, I made a lot of mistakes. And uh, I just want you to know that from this moment on, you're going to see a big change in Cedric Tinsley. Secondly, I want to apologize to someone who has been a very good friend of mine for a long time, and uh, I've hurt her in the past very much, and I just want to say that I'm sorry. Uh, Don't want to bring anybody down. Y'all go ahead with the party. Have a good time. Thanks, man. Come on, come on. You are hurting me. Come on, man. Come on. Now turn the music back on. Quickly. What are you, we were supposed to be getting engaged. Stop this shit. About. I'm talking about running your big mouth. I am trying to enjoy myself. Tanya, you are a stupid bitch. You're about to jeopardize everything that I have worked for. Wait, I'm sorry, me carrying that little fucking motherfucker for nine months? That wasn't working hard? Oh yeah, it's much harder sitting in the fucking land of luxury fucking for thousand dollar dresses, isn't it? Keep your voice down. You know what? I ain't even feeling this shit with you anymore. I want you to take whatever money you get from Cedric and use that to keep your damned mouth shut. You know what? You're getting married without a prenup right now and you think that you're all fucking- I don't have to explain any of that to you. All you need to do is keep my name out of your mouth. But wait, wait, wait a second. I mean, we're, we're in this together, right? I mean... I carried that fucking little shit for nine months. All you did was you fucked and you freeze the condom. Are you fucking kidding me right now? This was my idea to begin with. Girl, you were nothing but a broke-ass little trick when I first met you. Now you're about to be a millionaire. You know what? Fuck this shit, all right? Go ahead, go, go fucking live with your man. And just know that you will never, ever have what you really, really always wanted. Yeah, Tanya, and what's that? A baby? No, it's me. Um, it, this is a trick, right? What? I mean, baby, this has got to be a trick. Bitch, I should fuck you up. Baby, you... I want you out of my life, baby. Well, you know I wouldn't do that. Wait, I... I, <laughs> I didn't do that. Well, you always wanted to be on TV. Congratulations. Well, as you already know, my name is Summer Twitty. I gotta be honest with you. I never had a mentor. But I'm gonna tell you about someone who's influenced my life. 
just as much as, if not more than a mentor ever could. You know, this person has loved me and respected me, just, he has given more to me than he will ever know. You know, I've spent most of my adult life just looking around for the perfect man, only to be disappointed just time and time again. You know, I read this quote once. I really loved it. It said, the voyage of discovery is not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. I really loved that quote. You know, from now on, I think I'm going to start living by that, you know, and just start appreciating the things that I have and stop sweating the things I don't even need. Here's to new eyes. How does it feel to be MVP? Feels wonderful. How you think it feel? How did you pull off this victory? Uh, you know, we just had to buckle down and, you know, get serious about it. You were down by 10 at half. What did the coach tell you guys to inspire you? Well, I was playing a little sloppy in the first half, and the coach told me that, you know, just to sit down and do my thing, you know, take my time, distribute the ball evenly, and, you know, that's what I had to do. Let's see the trophy. <laughs> you want to see it? I'm going to be seeing it a lot, baby. Made it happen right now, MVP. What's your son's name? Joshua. Low Josh, low Josh. Listen, Jim, I don't want my client associated with a company that is so irresponsible. You're missing a great opportunity. Yeah, well, that is not an option because I can't have him do that. The growth potential is enormous. Hello? Boy, what are you doing? What's wrong? I got something I want to tell you. Okay. <sighs> um. I owe you an apology first because um, I've been dating all the all the wrong women. Like, look, I guess when you're a ball player, you know, people think that you know you should be with the models and the girls on the runway and the magazines and everything. But like the whole Jill thing, I mean, that's just wrong, you know. Nobody ever tells you that if you wasn't playing ball, none of these people would be interested in you. And you've been looking out for me since I was six years old. <sighs> Nobody tells you that you find your soulmate at six years old or the person that you're gonna love for the rest of your life. And you've been taking care of me since we were playing tag, but... And I guess... I have always... Always... Been in love with you.
us once again.